Good morning. This is part two of my uh, 30 gallon barrel telescope project and this morning I'm going to cover <coughs> the uh, the base or the mount of the telescope. Uh, yesterday, yesterday I did the uh, OTA, the optical tube assembly, and I like to divide it up into two parts. It makes it easier to do. Um, <coughs> the first part of the uh, mount is the deck axis, which is really critical. Um, it's one of the reasons I had to rebuild this telescope is the deck axis was uh, <coughs> not operating properly on the previous telescope. And what I had here is uh, some aluminum rings someone gave me uh, from an abandoned telescope project <coughs> that they had. And they are 12 inches in diameter and about an inch and a half thick. So the secret to using them, of course, is I had to fill them up with wood. Uh, that's poplar wood, and it's 3 quarters inch thick, so I had to stack two discs in there. So I had to scribe them, cut them out, and then sand them until they fit. And I had to find the center on both sides. And I had to line up, line up the centers. So, but to attach them to the OTA, or the optical tube assembly, I had to, uh, and this is poplar wood again, and I put a, <coughs> a one by across from bar to bar, and then I had to do glue ups, and I used screws to attach two more to, to get the uh, axis a, out beyond the uh, tube. And uh, even that wasn't enough. I ended up putting a half inch piece of plywood in here to flesh it out and make sure that it's set on the, um, uh, the saddle properly. Uh, and then I ended up with uh, using some of the plastic barrel material right here for outside stops. So and it's really solid set of rings and they work beautiful. The general rule is, is you need uh, deck axis rings that are about the same size as the optics. So in my case 13 inch mirror, <coughs> technically I should use a 13 inch uh, deck ring. But uh, these are 12 inches and that's close enough for government work. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video right here for a second while I remove the telescope to show you the rest of the uh, the rest of the base assembly. So this is the base with the uh, telescope off and there's a couple interesting things you're seeing here. So number one is, is everything, especially the sideboards, are glued and screwed together and to each other. But I also just went ahead and put uh, L brackets and corner brackets in to stiffen everything up and uh, make it more rigid. Now you see the there's a center bolt here and that's actually a, a plastic washer that I made from the barrel because when I uh, cut holes in the bottom of the barrel for collimation I just kept those pieces and drilled them out to make uh, washers. And uh, that worked out really good. Now one of the things that uh, I had a problem with was that the uh, uh, the old uh, dowel rod I used to use just wasn't uh, up to it. It wobbled around and so forth. So what I had to do really worked out well was I bought an 8 inch uh, bolt, an all thread bolt and you can see it right there it goes through not only this inch and a half of, of uh, inch and three quarters of base but then it goes through a three quarter inch piece here and here and it's captured in here again using those plastic washers. 
So, and of course this is your Teflon here and then this is your laminate here for it to slide on. And so this one inch tabletop here is basically my base for my laminate for my uh, my deck axis, my uh, azimuth axis actually. But one of the problems you would have doing something like that is that uh, the threads from that all thread would eat eat away at the wood because this part here it's going to rotate around that that uh, uh, that all thread axis and what I used was PEX which is plastic pipes for house so I found some three quarter inch PEX and they gave it to me for free at the hardware store and I lined the hole with that. So that all thread is encapsulated in here and in here with that plastic PEX. It's kind of a bearing surface and it stops the all thread from eating away at the wood. And I think that's a really great idea. It, uh, <coughs> well, proof is going to be how long it lasts. But I have some more of it and if it eats away the PEX I can replace the PEX. So, it could be the sacrificial if it needs to. Now the other thing you see in here is there's a, a handle I built in to the front base. And uh, I'm going to put a couple more three inch handles, one on each side, just for gripping. So one person get on one side and one on the other for picking this up. And the other thing I'm working on is right here. And I'm going to add two of these to the one side where the eyepiece is so I can uh, set my eyepieces. But other than that, and uh, I wanted to show you all this this morning before I started painting because it's a lot easier to see things uh, before paint. And so I want to stop it here and I've enjoyed showing you this telescope project very much. Thank you.